cut the paper. This is paper that was dried just a few minutes ago. It was poured well, about 10 minutes ago. I cut off these edges. I like these long scissors. They're called bond scissors. Used for cutting stocks and bonds. Make a nice long cut. We'll put the negative in the printing frame. It's a wet collodion negative. And it's uh, image side up and the paper is sensitive side down. Put into the printing frame. And there we go. So we'll put this in. Come on. There we go. Now in the sunlight it would take much less time, but we're in Rochester in March with snow on the ground, so we're using a, a UV light here. As you can see the edges of the paper are starting to reduce back to metal in a kind of a purple color. And I'm going to let this keep going and print it a little darker so you can see the initial printing, uh, so you can see how the paper works. Essentially, it's printing out the image. There is no developer. It's just the light that's making the silver chloride turn back into metal. We won't print this to completion because it would take longer than most viewers have the, the patience for. Generally, we'd want to print until the outside edge starts to turn a strange green color called bronzing. Actually, I'll take it all the way out of the, the printing frame. We won't print this one to completion, but at least you can see how it makes an image. We'd want to print this maybe twice as long because it's going to lose some density during the chemical processing. And that includes washing, toning with gold chloride, fixing, and then giving a final wash. 